What's up, LHS out there? And I'm a million. Wilson County Schools is hosting a free three hour ACT workshop in order to provide juniors and seniors help with the upcoming test. The workshops will be on February 22nd from 8.30 to 11.30 at Wilson Central High School and February 29th from 8.30 to 11.30 at Lebanon High School. She will share test strategies to maximize scores on each of the ACT subjects. Each workshop is only limited to 250 students and it's filling up quickly, so don't delay. Go to LHS website to, re to register. Students must sign up using their Wilson County School Gmail. Students, if you are taking an AP class this semester and you would like to take the exam, the deadline to pay our $45 deposit is next Friday, February 21st. Deposits can be paid with cash or a check in guidance or with card online. Seniors, if you haven't already, go to A100 to check the spelling of your name for your diploma and pay your senior fee of $65 at the bank by today. They could take cash or check. You can pay online, but it will charge a convenience fee. Yearbook is offering a great senior special. If you lost a yearbook or maybe didn't buy one, here's your chance to get all books from freshman year to senior day for only $120. Host of graduation stoves are on sale now for $25. Please see Ms. Tomlinson for more information. Orders must be placed by February 20th. Seniors wanting to try out for a senior night must come by B305 to try to get a tryout form. All forms must be turned back in by February 14th. Tryouts will be held the week of February 24th after school. Also, nomination forms for senior superlatives will be sent out to your student email. Be sure to check your email. Yearbooks are on sale. They're they are $80 until February 15th and will go up to the final price of $90 on February 16th. We are also selling previous yearbooks for $20 with the purchase of this yearbook. They are also accepting pictures for the snowball, senior besties, senior siblings, and senior rides. You can send this to lhssouvenir at gmail.com and see Ms. Peterson in A303 for more details. Blue Devil Boutique is having a closeout sale and will be open today and tomorrow. Everything will be $1. Speaking of fashion, let's see what fashions are for the media and movies to have discovered. Oh, I didn't see you there. I'm Bryce. I'm Gavin. And I'm Corey. And, and we're, we're here, here with, with the Weekly Drip Check. Now, every week we're going to eliminate two people. And we're going to get knocked off. And at the end of the week, we're going to have crazy prizes. Let's roll. I'm here with Eli Coggins. Okay, Eli, what new stuff do you have on this week? Chain, red polo jacket, red rockstar belt, red forces. Do you think you have a good sense of style? Yes. Why? Because I like matching. I like matching all my clothes. All right. I'm here with Caroline. Now, what new stuff do you got on today, Caroline? I got the forces and okay. black jeans and a leopard jacket. Do you think you have a good sense of style? Not really. Why not? I just like to be comfortable. I respect it. Breeze Copus. All right, what new stuff you got on today, Breeze? I uh, got the Navy Uggs, got okay. black jeans, Travis Scott shirt, and then a little flannel. I like that chain. It's pretty nice. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. I like it. The baguettes. You think you have a good sense of style? I do. Why? Got the drip. I feel you. Here with my boy, Kobe. All right, what do you got on today? You know, the Nike. The Nike pants, you know, sweatpants. And I got the black Uggs on, you know. All right, you think you have a good sense of style? Uh, some days, you know, I came in back. Alex. All right, what do you got on today, Alex? You know, I got the Adidas, got the right. Adidas pants, I got the Uggs, you know, slight drip. All right, you, you think you have a good sense of style? Yeah, you know, I, I try. Look. Why do you think you got? Ain't nobody swagging like me. Huh? Evan Ship. All right, what do you got on today, boy? I got an American Eagle pink hoodie on, American Eagle jeans, and then the Uggs, you feel me? Okay, do you think you have a good sense of style? Of course. Why? Because I be pulling everybody, you feel me? Boy, if you don't get uh, Jackson. <laughs> All right, what do you got on today, Jackson? I got Air Max 97, okay. some black sweatpants, and a Kyrie hoodie. All right, you think you have a good sense of style? Oh, for sure. Why? Because I got the best shoe game. I feel you. I'm here with Caitlin. Now, what new stuff do you have on today? I just have some Nike leggings, some Adidas shoes, and a sweater. Do you think you have a good sense of style? Not really. Why? I just dress to be comfortable. All right, thank you. I'm here with Grayson. My name is Jeff. Now, what do you have on today, Grayson? Uh, I got some khakis, and I got I got a Travis Scott hoodie. Uh, got my <clears throat> Ultra Boost. That's about it. You think you have a good sense of style? It's all right. Why do you think that? I don't know. I like to put myself together in the mornings. All right, thank you.
water, 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 water. The drip will air weekly on BDN, so if you think you have what it takes, be sure to let one of the guys know. We'll get you on the news. French Club will be meeting this Friday, February 14th, after school in B306. <coughs> FFA members who are going to the state convention, please remember that your money is due by next Friday, February 21st. Student Council will have a meeting tomorrow in the library. We will be discussing important information and deadlines for TASC. Please make sure you can make it. G GSA will have a brief meeting today in Ms. Robinson's room. We will be discussing some important fundraising information. So please make sure that you are there. The Humane Society is selling shirts. Anyone who would like a shirt is more than welcome to buy one for you and a friend. Short sleeve shirts are $12, long sleeve shirts are $15, and hoodies are $24. See Ms. Jordan and see 200 Volunteer state medical terminology test is on April 4th. If you have successfully completed a minimum of three health science classes, you qualify to take the test, please see Ms. Thomason and sign up by February 20th. The cost of the test is $25. The Hose of Blood Drive will be on February 28th, and you can register now in Ms. Johnson's room, C-307. Prom will be at the mill on April 17th. Tickets are $55 and can be purchased at the bank or online. If you buy your tickets before March 6th, you will get a free shirt. Have you ever wondered why you may not have called, been called in for a job interview? Well, this is modern age. It's companies all about the automation, algorithms, and artificial intelligence. Most of the time, the computer screens your application and resume before it goes to a human, if it ever takes, if it ever makes it to a human. If you receive a high score on your job applications and or resume, you are passed through the applicant tracking system by HR, which are hiring specialists for companies. Here's a short clip to give you tips to learn how to pass through the applicant tracking systems. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how to get your resume past an ATS, which stands for Applicant Tracking System. Applicant Tracking Systems use technology to scan your resume to determine if you're a good match for the job. On average, 75% of resumes submitted are deleted by the ATS, and many times it's because the system can't read the resume or the resume isn't optimized correctly. And with over 95% of large companies and over 50% of mid-sized companies now using ATS technology, you need to ensure your resume gets past the filters. Okay, enough with all these scary statistics. Here are five quick tips to help get your resume past an applicant tracking system. Tip number one, make sure you have the correct keywords in your resume that target the industry or job description. For example, if an accounting job description contains words such as Microsoft Excel, journal entries, and balance sheet, make sure you include those words on your resume, as the ATS may be searching for these keywords. Tip number two, always use a professional resume format such as a functional, reverse chronological, or a hybrid, which is a combination of both. You should do some research and figure out which format suits you better. Tip number three, avoid fancy designs colors and images on your resume, as an ATS will have trouble reading it. Stick to a professional, clean, and concise resume. Tip number four, use a popular and professional font, such as Arial, Calibri, New Times Roman, or Georgia, as these are easy to read for an ATS. And lastly, tip number five, is to always send your resume as a Microsoft Word document, unless stated otherwise in the job description. A Microsoft Word document is easily processed by the ATS and is also the preferred format for the majority of employers. Thanks for watching and to read some more tips, please click the link in the description. ZipJob also offers a free resume review by a certified expert, so click the free resume review button to get yours now. If you would like to learn more, Ms. Buchanan can teach you all about this in her intro business and marketing class c12 h26 as you know valentine's day is this week and there are certain rules that you need to be aware of if gifts are delivered to students we will hold them in the office until the end of the day for students to pick up for the final building items will not be delivered during the school day and please remember nothing can have latex or there's no glass allowed on school buses
Now, if you would like to show someone how much you appreciate them, there are a couple there are a couple ways you can do this here in LHS. Choir is selling singing Valentines for three dollars. They are sold at lunch and will be performed during the second block on Valentine's Day. The Humane Society is having their Valentine's jewelry sale this week during lunch, and all items are four dollars each. Pro pros proceeds will benefit local animal sh animal shelters. Anyone interested in playing soccer and Fall, please stop by A103 and sign up. We will have an interest meeting tomorrow after school. Congratulations to Alicia Francis for signing with the Cumberland University for soccer. Coach McFerrin says Alicia is an outstanding young lady and athlete. This is her first year playing for us and she is a great asset for our team. She is hardworking, dedicated, and a great teammate. BDN will have the full signings later this week. That's all we have today at LHS. I'm Amelia. And I'm Ferris. And this is news to you from Ryan Blue.